Ready for the intro? What is really good, fam? Welcome back to Familia Kicks HQ, where we go ahead and do in-depth reviews on sneakers, and we do unboxings, and we do reviews, and we do sneaker news. We talk about just anything, all things related to sneakers, or really anything that you can rock on your feet. So, guys, I appreciate you for tuning in today for another video, and today, it's a sweet one. It's gonna be a reaction video. But before we get into that real quick, I want you guys to take a second, split second, hit the video with a like button. It boosts this video, this channel. It's gonna boost it up. If you wanna become a part of the family, please do so. I love y'all. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I do upload. I'm uploading quite frequently as of late. And drop me a comment down below. Let me know, let me know. It keep me involved. I'll keep you involved. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Forget about it. I you doing? All right, guys. So, without further ado, let's talk about the Yeezy 450. Um, I have it right here, but I haven't seen it. I have the box. So, yeah. I ain't gonna say nothing, but the Yeezy 450, right? Possibly the smallest box of any Yeezy came in this big freaking box, bruh. So, um, shout out to, uh, to Adidas for, um, apparently not being that mindful of, uh, recyclable material. Wait, cardboard is recyclable? Never mind, guys. It's a big box, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and I figured this would be interesting. My unboxing, my initial impressions on what you guys, many of you guys, most of you guys consider the most ugliest shoe of all time. Could we get that? Is that an award? Like instead of the GOAT, right? Instead of the greatest of all time, we're gonna talk about the ugliest shoe of all time. But um, let's go ahead and get unboxing this. So, this is weird. No, I don't mean, oh, hold on. This little... All right, guys, I think uh, we got that. Big ass box for no reason. All right, guys. Whoa. All right, familia, here it goes. The Yeezy 450. And this is in a size 10 because all the reviews were saying to go a half size up. Even Yeezy Supply said go a half size up. I'm a true to size nine and a half. So I figured, you know what? Let me get a 10. Every single Yeezy I've ever copped has always been a 9.5. I've never really purchased any other size shoe. Um, so guys, this is, this is kind of crazy, like, like the size of this is just weird. Like, I don't know. It does feel like you're gonna just unbox some sandals or something like that. Um, it definitely feels weird, but, but yeah, like, I don't know. I, I wanna open it and I want you guys to definitely see my reaction when I do, so. Um, all right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, here we go. Yo, already I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's just, let's just put this. Let's go ahead and just sort of try to go ahead and um try to grasp this real quick, okay? Uh, wow. This, um, this is crazy. This is crazy. Guys, this sneaker is insane. Like, like, I don't know. Like, it almost feels like a piece of art. Like, it's weird. Like, you don't want to wear the shoe, but you want to wear the shoe. And I can see how people would immediately, like, not like the shoe. <laughs> Um, or think it's straight up ugly, like it's different. It's 
it's out there like wow um i'm gonna give you guys some close-up shots as well some b-roll but guys this is this is what we have right here right now this sneaker is insane <sighs> this sneaker is crazy y'all let's try to great let's let's try to put this into words my bad i'm kind of at a loss for words um okay like this is like it's crazy it, it definitely looks almost prehistoric in a way it looks like a big cloud it definitely looks futuristic um it looks comfortable the prime knit is actually um it's not super soft actually like the prime knit is not is rough but it feels good like it's, it's durable you feel me it feels it almost has like a nylon a nylon feel to it um but it's knit so yeah guys um i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put these on feet right now um i'm gonna leave that for the review but <laughs> this is crazy this sneaker is crazy like this sneaker is crazy guys look at this look at this sneaker this is a size 10 does that look big does it look big it's a size 10 um yeah so initial impressions offhand i think you're gonna you're gonna hate on me and you know what if you know what i need some engagement i need more engagement if you're hating on me right now or on this shoe not hating on me because you're jealous i ain't trying to say that i'm like you're gonna hate on my opinion right now but i think this sneaker it's nice i'm a sucker for the weird kicks y'all like you gotta understand that sneakers are subjective you know what they say right beauty is in the eye of the beholder well i think i'm not gonna say it's a beautiful shoe but it's rustic, it's it's grungy, it's weird, it's outlandish, it's crazy. But I think it's fire. I think it's fire. I think that's what makes it. I can see where they get the colorway and it kind of switches up the laces are actually almost like this super faint green color. These laces, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's different from the actual, the colorway of the actual knit and the outsole, midsole situation going on here. And the rear of the shoe right here towards the heel and here have a yellow hint, like a yellowish beige hint towards it. So guys, off rip, this is um this is a super insane shoe. Um in my opinion, the most craziest shoe I've ever purchased. And I like it. I'm liking it, y'all. So go ahead, yo. I just I just wanted to share this unboxing, my initial impressions with you. Um, I just wanted y'all to see how crazy this this shoe looks, and I'm just I'm uh, taken back quite a bit. Um, I don't know what to think about the shoe, man. Like. I think it's good. I don't know how practical it is, right? So for everyday use, I don't really think so, but it looks comfortable. But this is where I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in your hands. Let me know down below what you think. Uh, my initial impressions, these are them. They're crazy, they're insane, and I am feeling them. So go ahead, guys, leave me a comment down below. Drop this video with a like if you enjoyed my reactions to this crazy sneaker, crazy, the Yeezy 450. Also, hit the notification bell. I am gonna go ahead and upload a review, an in-depth review on what I hate about it, what I love about it, how it feels on feet. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full on feet review. So go ahead and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload that video and many, many more. A lot of new sneakers coming out, a lot of hyped sneakers. And there's a lot of low key stuff that not a lot of people know about. Um, guys, I appreciate you once again for just showing me some love, showing this channel love. And as we like to say on this channel, my familia, my family, my people, mi gente, thank you. See you in the next one. Peace.